Hi there, Gary here from Longsons. I'm going to take you on a brief video tour of this extremely well presented detached five bedroom house we have situated on the Heathlands in Swatham, Norfolk. Okay, so there's the property right there in front of you. Uh, there is an extension to the side of the property and uh, there's uh, partly a garage conversion and the garage has been replaced on the opposite side with a larger than average single garage. Uh, there's outside lighting, gated access to the rear garden, uh, front garden laid to block paving with parking for several vehicles. I'll just show you the property location. So uh, as I mentioned, we're on Heathland, uh, part of the Heathland development. Uh, situated uh, deep into the development, uh, so little passing traffic. There's a green area just to the end of the road there. And then in the other direction, uh, you might be able to see in the distance, it's been collection day today. But um, that'll take you back into Swatham eventually if you head in that direction. So uh, without further ado, let's head inside and have a look around. So heading in through the front door, straight into the entrance hall. So we've got stairs up to the first floor. And before we forget, so we have on the ground floor cloakroom with WC and wash basin. So there's uh, glazed double doors, they open through to the lounge. We'll continue straight on for now into the uh, modern kitchen stroke dining room. So it's a good size room, a modern fitted kitchen units, wall and floor. There's a stainless steel one and a half bowl sink unit, mixer tap and drainer. We've got integrated uh, induction hob, extractor hood over, there's integrated dishwasher. There's a, another unit here. There's an integrated electric oven, integrated microwave. There's a tall integrated fridge just on that side as well. There's an understairs storage cupboard. And then we've got a dining area to the side, tiles to the floor. So a really good sized room. And then we've got an arched opening through to the utility room where there's a further kitchen units and an additional stainless steel sink units, space and plumbing for washing machine, space there for tumble dryer, space for a tall freezer or fridge. And there's a entrance door opens out to the rear garden. So the property is UPVC double glazed throughout and we're gas central heating as well. So we have also on the ground floor, the uh, we'll call it the fifth bedroom. It's a good sized double bedroom as you can see. This is part of the garage conversion stroke extension. So there is a built-in cupboard that is housing the uh, modern gas central heating boiler. There's a window to the front and there's an obscure glass window to the side. So heading back into the kitchen dining room, we have off of the dining area a UPVC double glazed conservatory. So a nice size conservatory. We've got electric power in here as well. And this French doors open out to the uh, really well presented rear garden. I'll be showing you that in a, in a short while, just towards the end of the video. And then in the dining area, we've got glazed double doors, which open through to the lounge. And it's a good sized lounge, window to the front. And there's another glazed double doors that take us back out into the hall, entrance hall. So that I believe is the ground floor. So we'll, uh, We'll head upstairs and have a look at the first floor. 
So we're just coming up onto the first floor landing. We've got uh, two built-in cupboards, one of which houses the hot water cylinder. And there's doors off to the various rooms. But we'll head through and uh, we'll have a look in bedroom one first. That's a really good size room. So as you can see, that uh, double room, windows to the front and side, and a door through to the ensuite shower room, where we have a really good sized double shower cubicle. There's towel radiator. And wash basin and WC set within uh, modern fitted cabinets. So heading back out onto the landing, we've then got bedroom two. So we've got window to the rear and radiator. And bedroom three. Probably the smaller of the rooms, but as you can see, we've got a single bed in here and window to the rear. And then we've got another bedroom. So that's four bedrooms up here on the first floor. We've got Velux windows to the uh, ceiling as well, roof. And then as well as the four bedrooms on the first floor, another bedroom on the ground floor, we have the main bathroom. So we've got a bath with rainfall shower head over and a separate hand shower attachment. Shower screen, wash basin, WC, towel radiator and built-in cupboard. Okay, so uh, well that's the property internals. I'll gather my shoes and we'll go and have a look at the rear garden. So back through kitchen diner, utility room, shoes back on, and out through the entrance door into the uh, really well presented rear garden. So there's an area laid to lawn to the rear of the garden, so it's a, it's a terraced garden. It's a sizeable area of the garden laid to the really nice uh, patio paving slabs, uh, providing a good sizeable seating area. There's another seating area uh, just up the steps. There's a selection of shrubs and plants. To borders and there's a, an additional raised seating area to the side here as well with access to this really good size wooden storage shed or workshop and there's also an uh, entrance door into the garage as well so we've got outside lights, there's outside tap, and there's an external power socket as well, which I'm sure comes in very handy. So wooden fence to the perimeter, and gated access back out to the front. Okay. So that was a brief video tour of, uh, I'm sure you'll agree, this extremely well presented detached five bedroom house situated on the popular heathlands in Swaffham, Norfolk. Thank you for watching.